the gods. They are brothers the and sisters. There are hundreds of ways you can spend your life. There are hundreds of stories you, you can tell. The, the question we will ask you this week is: What story will you tell with there your life? Other people's stories are richest for me because God has created us unique in every way and every people reflect that richness in their life. So when I listen to their story... A lot of these stories, like Michelle was talking about, some of the stuff that happened recently in the States, I sort of looked at it from the outside, like that's something that doesn't happen where I live, that's not my problem. And I really think that that's not the case and I need to reevaluate what I'm looking at and some of my even relationships with my own friends and yeah, it might change my worldview a little bit or quite a bit. <laughs> so Urbana, what stories are you going to tell about Muslims? Stories of despair or stories of hope? I have made up my mind. Like the prophet Zachariah in the Bible, I am a prisoner of hope. I am a hostage of hope. You know, for some reason, God was just tugging me and telling me how beautiful the Arabic language was, how beautiful the Muslim culture was. And I felt God was saying, I want you to go and talk to them. I want you to go and learn about them. God works in people's stories and through people's stories, that's what testimonies are. God has been opening my eyes to new perspectives and new insights. I think it's so important to know what God has done and remember what God has done in your life, to remember your own story, it makes such a difference and is so much more important on how we share our faith with people. I am willing to take the risk to share about Jesus in the online world and be who I am and to share who Jesus is and what he's done in my life. The answer is simple yet profound. Why does she do it? Because she believes Jesus is worth it. I think the call is for us to watch and to see and to respond and to feel it, but also for us to really identify the global church as our family. So when that person says, hey, this is my story, I want you to be a part of it, I'm going to say yes. And when that person challenges me to think differently about the way that I look at the world, I'm going to say yes, that is the power of we, that is the power of us. La barba que está ahí no es tan grande como las barreras que están en nuestros corazones. Do Kyoko has birthed it through our Pacific Island community. It's a song that actually invites the other nations to come and bring all that Kyakua made them to be, also with their heart song or their heart language and their expression and their dance, to join in with the larger family in praise and worship. The evangelical church must commit tonight to give control of our stories back to the God that wrote them.